This man is clearly racist. This video is brought to you by the Officer Jackson merch store. Go get you a shirt. Go get you a hat. Shirts read black people and shit. I've never been to Africa. Use the discount code black people and shit. Like this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Y'all, <laughs> this is starting to become old news now. How black people like to race bait. They like to, it's like, if you can't find a negative situation, you create one. And then you put it out there on social media and then say, oh, this person was racist. Oh, this is discrimination against me because of the color of my skin. I, I'm, I'm convinced now that black people will never wake up and they will always cry race, racist, racist. Where a lot of times, nine times out of ten, they're the real racist. So uh, this YouTuber hits me up uh, by the name of Dylan Filer. Okay, I, I think I'm saying his name right. I don't know. He, it might be pronounced differently. He might be Muslim. Uh, he sends me a link to this video where it's supposed to be this racist white woman attacking uh, a black man, okay? And, uh, matter of fact, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna let you see for yourself and then I'm gonna get my final thoughts on this. Oh, get it on video. Take those fucking shorts off. You ain't worthy to wear that fucking color, motherfucker. I would love to send someone over to rip that fucking color off you, but I won't. And somebody sees this fucking color, who the fuck do they think about? Seattle Seahawks? It's just a pair of shorts. No, this fucking color. You don't deny it. Whose fucking color is this? I don't know, but you called me a nigger, though, so... Well, you are a fucking nigger, aren't you? She said it again. Oh, what? You didn't come get me beat down because they said the N-word by some badass niggas? Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm thinking to myself, what's missing from this video? We don't see what started this. Now, as a former cop, I can tell you how the situation played out. This woman was at the park, minding her own business, drinking her beer, and just enjoying being white in America. And this ignorant black thug walks up to her and starts antagonizing her. Just, just starts giving her, just get, gives her crap. Okay. Now, is what she said right? No. But at the same time, when you were upset. When people push you to a certain point, you say things that you probably shouldn't say. Does that mean she, she's a racist? No, that does not mean she's a racist. She said a racist word, but that does not mean that she is a racist. This uh, black thug was actually the racist because instead of leaving this woman alone and going about his business, he continues to antagonize her and films her. Okay, if you can't see that he is racist, you are totally blind and... God needs to open your eyes and help. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to say a prayer for you. Because that is clearly racist. Like, it, it's as clear as, as you see me in this video. She is, in so many words, telling him to leave her alone. Okay? And then even ask him a question about the color that he has on. Simple question. It has nothing to do with race. And he continues to say, yeah, you called me the N-word. You called me the N-word. And she says, well, ain't you? I mean... Honestly, that's what he is, because if you look up the definition of that word, that means a terrible person, a bad person, a filthy person, and he seems to fit the description of that. That does not mean that she's a racist against black people or people of African descent. That just means that she's referring to him alone. Does not mean she's racist. He could have easily walked away and defused the situation, but no, he continues to record her. So that makes him not just as bad, but worse than her. She's sitting on the bench. She's not bothering anybody. He's bothering her. So, once again, this is another example of another black person trying to get attention on social media, trying to play all, all the race card. Oh, oh, poor me. I'm racist. I'm racist. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm being discriminated against. Excuse me. But he's being the clear racist. Okay, she was not filming him. She was not antagonizing him. She was defending herself. That's what she was doing. I... I continue to pray for black people all the time. I mean, there, there's myself and there's a handful of us that are sambo and cooning, but we need more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have a special guest on my show next week. Okay, be on the lookout for that. Uh, Richard Gilbert, who is a black conservative like myself. I've been in that Blexit. Um, he's going to be joining me. Now, a lot of people say, well, uh, uh, Officer Jackson, you know, you hate black people. No, 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 no. I can't stand... I love black people, but I hate Okay, 
So Richard Gilbert's going to be on here, and we're going to chop it up, okay? And guess what? He's black himself. So there you have it. Dylan Fowler is a racist for bothering this woman, and he should be ashamed of himself. And that's all I have to say about that. Oh.